Hey everybody, welcome back to Mars. Hope you're having a great day today. At least a better day than our colonists are. We're still 21 short of oxygen. And uh, 18 hours now, it looks like we have remaining. 21 short. 18 hours left remaining. Uh, 21 short of oxygen is what we have. But it's just enough to hold over, hold us over uh, for the electrostatic dust storm. Just enough, as long as we don't get a ton of leaks. We're absolutely good on water. And um, the meteor, sh meteor shower, the meteor storm has ended. However, it didn't end before taking out a lot of my tunnels. Um, thankfully, this tunnel is still operational. It's going to allow us to get to this one quicker. This one's in shambles. So we're going to need to rebuild that. But right after, I'm talking like almost to the second when I clicked stop recording uh, for the last video, a meteor struck this tunnel down here, which of course ruins it up here too. So yeah, we're going to want to rebuild this tunnel. We're going to get our drones on that task at least. And I think, again, as long as we don't have so many, any real big major leaks, we should be able to hold out long enough with the oxygen supply and we'll get these pigs popping out, which is good. And then I think there's also one more ranch. I don't remember which one it is, but there's another ranch that has cows. This one. This one has not been shut off. So hang on. Got an oxygen leak. I knew it. Stuff's going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and get it shut down from there. And then we want to uh, go like that and rebuild it, please. There we go. Idle extractors. There it is. Our metal is gone. The metal is completely gone now in there. So to get more metal, we have a couple of options. And they're not very good options, but we have options. Okay. Uh... This electrostatic dust storm sucks. Like a lot. It looks, sucks like a really great deal. Um, hopefully this thing stops. I guess it will in six hours, but I want it to stop with us... Um, with us not caring. Where is the leak that actually matters? This one. This is the pipe leak that matters. Yeah. Let's get this one taken care of too. Like that. And then... Uh, we want to go ahead and rebuild that if we can. Stop. Well, I can't pause, can I? Reconnect it. Why is there a dome without life support? Why is there a dome without life support? Oh my god, guys, please build this. Build this now. Right, that's the... Well, I mean, they have... They have an extra route. Like, there's, there's redundancy in this line. Are we really out of oxygen entirely? There should be redundancy here. This whole system is hooked up to this dome, which is hooked up to this dome, which is hooked up to the rest of the system. We should be able to disconnect this tube, this pipe, and have it not matter. Unless there's another leak that I don't know of. Which there is! Damn it! Oh my god, please leave me alone, leaks. This takes care of the whole thing, actually. Yeah. Damn. So, now these guys just have no life support for another couple of hours. Renegades are stealing things. It's okay, though, because they're not going to die. They're not going to die. The storm is over. The Moxies should come back online. Indeed, they have. Research complete. There we go. Interplanetary projects is done. Now, you might be wondering, what, I thought you had compact hangers going. I did. I switched it. Just didn't tell you. I figured I had time, but then I got distracted by the pipe leaks. Uh, I switched it because all the way up here, these interplanetary projects, it wasn't done. Like, I started it at one point... Got to, I think we went to something that was more vital at the time and never came back to it. So these interplanetary projects are nice because they're going to let us capture asteroids, which is going to improve water. It's going to let us import greenhouse gases from Earth, which is going to give us a huge bump in our atmosphere. But it also, like, we're going to be inviting toxic rain and stuff. We need to be aware of that. But I think it's going to be a big jump start for us, and I like that. So um, we, we do have another carbonate processor going down. This will get built as a priority. Our shuttles are back online. All of our traveling and logistics and everything is up and running and the whole colony's busy again. Oh, gotta love it. Let's make sure these guys know that the tunnel is a up, of utmost importance. And then we need to get this stuff fixed. And to get this stuff fixed, I need Nash to get back down here. And then I need metals. 
pretty badly actually. So let me just get a depot, metals depot. We'll pop it down right here. And let's say I want at all times shuttles. Let's make sure there's 15 here at all times. All right, so interplanetary projects is done. Now to do the interplanetary projects, we have to have a rocket, which we have right here, ready to land with nothing in it, but that's okay. Let's get it dropped down. And uh, rather than exporting anything with this, we're just gonna send it on new expeditions to help, to help Mars. So this is not exporting. There's no, um, there's no rare metals exports here. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to the um, expeditions. We should have a couple more available here now. Yes, we have the capture ice asteroids, helps our water, and we have this one. Now this action may cause toxic rains that are harmful to soil quality and plant life. We don't really care at the moment because we don't have a whole lot of good soil and plant life anyway. It says we have insufficient funding to start the mission, so it looks like we actually have to we have to have money to do that one. Damn it. Okay. Well, is what it is. Maybe we go like this. Research progress. Hey, send six officers to Project Sanctuary. I like it. Let's try it. Go ahead and do that too. Now we also have that's perseverance. Where's our other rocket? Is that back here? I think it is. Yep. Uh, we can't really send a supply pod. We do have a little bit of money. I guess we could send some polymers or some seeds. Can't really send a whole lot, can we? Damn. Uh, I don't know. We'll send, we'll send this rocket back with some seeds. I guess we're going to need some funding in order to do that um, that mission. Now, we could export rare metals. And we may, because we were had the we had the mohole, so we brought, might as well. But um, I think most of our exports are just going to happen via the space elevator eventually. What I'd rather do, I think, is nope, not this. Uh, although behavior shaping might be uh, useful, there is oh, okay. You just hover it, okay, Charlie. You don't have to click. Although in this case, we could probably click because this is the one I wanted to do. Yeah, so before we get compact hangers, let's go ahead and put Martian patents ahead. This is a repeatable research project that's gonna grant us 500 million in funding. It's significantly more useful in the early game, um, but we don't care because it's useful to us now. So pipes go there. These guys are building up this whole infrastructure again and getting it all connected. And then over here, we need these guys to work on this one too. So rebuild this, please. They're going to get on this, but that's going to be a lot. We need machine parts, we need metals and concrete. All of those are going to get delivered right here. So the shuttles will gradually bring them the supplies necessary to do this. In the Cold meantime, wave approaching. Cold wave. Wow, you guys are just not letting up. In the meantime, I don't want to waste these guys. Oh, wow. These guys are low on power too. Um... I was gonna say I don't want to waste this, so what I what I probably will do is to put a big old water tank over here near the scrubber. Put a big one right there, and that way these things can simply uh, you know pump water into this. At least we're having them do something. But they're also well, we don't have any I don't have any power. Gotta build power. Let's maybe get some perpetual power here. Sterling generators. And we'll put them here, 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 and here. That should be more than enough power forever for these guys. So we just need uh, the polymers to be delivered. Yep. Shuttles will have to do that over time. And But I think we're going to have this one be the priority. And let's say that one be the priority. And um, as long as the shuttles are bringing them supplies, should be good to go. Cold wave happens in a day and a half. Fun times, huh? If we can get to 50% on the temperature, then we don't have to deal with it. We're almost there, man. And because of the temperature going up like this, it's probably not going to be that severe of a storm of a, of a cold wave. Because we're limiting the severity of these as we warm the planet. So I imagine it'll probably... I don't think it'll be longer than two days. Um, let's go ahead and turn all the ranches back on. Absolutely should be doing that. So that we can get our food back up. We do have 1.2 thousand food in storage. That's 20 souls worth of food. Maybe I shouldn't be worried about it too much, but 
Well, I've had too many starving colonists and complain to me. So, yeah. And, and it's not so much the amount of food, it's the logistics to move it around. Because with that dust storm, our shuttles just are not as effective, right? They just don't do... They just don't... They can't do anything. Not as effective. They're completely ineffective. So, yeah. Um, let's turn the fuel refineries back on. Get that pump in. Get the, get the fuel made. And then, um, you know, I think I'll take and make another one. Another shuttle bay. Which is not here at all. Research complete. It is. Anomaly it is here. Analyzed. Didn't see it. A colonist has died. Yeah, Death and Colony is something that we're just going to have. That's fine. I mean, is it fine? No. But is it avoidable? Also no. Let's put the shuttle bay over here. We got some... We got fuel happening over here, so let's put it here. And then there's that music track again, man. Just bam. Should have adequate laser coverage for that, I think, right? Shh, nope. No lasers for that. We gotta expand that grid too. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you've shut down things. That's real mature. <laughs> Build it up again. At least we didn't have this built yet. But we do need to protect things. And um, somebody mentioned it in the comments, and I, I guess I agree. Uh, I am I am guarding this tunnel with with lasers. Mostly because I also really want to guard Molehole. Uh, however, probably should guard this too. Uh, so uh, we're going to put another laser, I think, over here. I want to guard the open farms and stuff as well. Once we get the atmosphere to 80%, 90%, this won't be necessary, but... That is a long road. It's going to take a while to do that. So I'm going to put you, let's say, right here. Just to help guard this a little bit better. Put a power cable right like that. Call that good. Okay, then. All of this is taking place. It's almost built. Just need concrete a little bit faster. Compact hangers is done. This means we can have even more shuttles. So... Well, we have to have the electronics to do so. We are producing a lot, but yeah. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, because of the sheer volume of, of shuttles I wanna have, we're just gonna, you know, construct them at all five sites. We're gonna have everybody do this. It says no more shuttles can be constructed, why? Well, because I've already queued up six at every single base, that's why. Okay, um, we can amplify this. Waste rock storage is full. Excuse me? Negative, you're just not doing it. Oh, you have a heavy workload. We don't have any drum prefabs. 14 hours until, hmm. Okay, where is my drone hubs? Where is my drone hubs? Where are my drone hubs? I don't see it. If I look at it from this angle, I can see it, yeah. This one's got low, we'll take some out of this. Um, probably take some out of this one. This is medium, interesting. Well, you're moving a lot of food around. I guess it's not that interesting. Um, one of these guys have gotta be low. How about you? You gotta be low by now, right? Yeah, you've already built all the things. So let's move you out and then we'll come over to, this is low as well, we'll move this out. Where is right here, right? Yeah. Let's give you some more drones. Wow, still heavy workload, huh? Okay, I'll give you all the drones. Uh, si Perseverance, six passengers ready to land. Go ahead and do that. Right there. All done. We got our research project. And now I think we have enough money to do that. That, uh, Exhibition. So, Expedition, that's what it's called. Exhibition Expedition. Mm -hmm. So, I could do the Ice Asteroids. I guess plus 5% water is kind of... I don't know. We already have over 5% water, and that's really all we need to stop the dust storms, is what I really want to do. Uh, but the Greenhouse Gases is... Interesting. Oh, we need 600 million! 
Not 500 million. Wait. No, I had 160 million, and I did a I did a thing that gets me 500 million. I should have 600. Oh, you know what? I bet that last one we did cost money, right? Did that last one we did cost money? I thought it just cost people. Bring the people over. <sighs> Whatever. You know what? Let's send this one. We'll capture the ice asteroids and add water, I guess. Okay, cold wave in eight hours. What are we going to do? Martian Tribune has a social story. It says, Guru in the Garden. So, Martian Guru Obi Orion has informed the Martian Tribune that they will be holding frequent meditation and contemplation sessions in the Dome's garden. Quoting, The garden is the natural spot for gurus like me. It lets me reach a more intense inner core and connect more deeply with others and with nature. <laughs> like slowly evolved that accent into something I don't even recognize. All right. Well, this one's getting built. Carbonate processor is going up. Very nice. And we need to look at subsurface heating and make sure that we can cover everything, which, I mean, we can't cover everything, but... We can cover the things that are most important. This one here needs to get bigger, too. I don't know if it's necessary to be that big. I think not. I think just enough to get... This is fine. Um, you're good. Although, being this big doesn't matter. We just need to cover the dome centers. So, we can pull you to about here, I think. And that'll, that'll be sufficient. Now, these things do not have coverage. And they're going to suck down, like, 150 power a pop. So I think it's worth putting in another subsurface heater. Why can't I find these? I'm just like super dense right now. Like very, very out of it today. Let's put you on this side. Right here could be cool. If I put it on this side, I can more easily cover the dome though. Let's put you there. And then uh, make sure that you're hooked up to the pipes. Yeah, you will be. You'll totally have pipe access there. So we'll get those to be the big priority, you, and then we want to turn them all on. It's four hours, so let's turn them all on. Well, turn this off and then turn them all on. There we go. So let's see the water. We currently have, looks like seven, seven spare water from this whole deal, which is good. It's also important to um, note that this water is coming at us despite us not having complete access to it. So, like, we don't have this pipe done, and in addition to that, we don't even have this... Oh, this tunnel is built! We do have the tunnel built! Nicely done, guys! Oh, shuttles for the win! Hello, Anomaly. We should send our new Opportunity Rover to go get that one, shouldn't we? I think we should. Mm-hmm. All right, so with this, this gets built... Then we'll have access to other water, and then we'll have even more. That's gonna be awesome. 20 water surplus right now. Very cool. Uh, so, it's just about getting the subsurface heaters built now. Also, getting this built would be very nice. We just need the electronics. Possibly we add... Oh, here we go. More electronics factories. I would like to get you amplified. Yes with polymers, and we're actually out of polymers now. Wow, okay. Um, let's make sure there are heavy work shifts for everybody. We'll do double work shifts on all polymers factories. Oh my gosh. And actually, we might have 23 unemployed. I wonder if any of those are in this dome. Looks like we have vacant work slots in this dome. Hmm. Comfort's pretty good though. Um, we have unemployed here. It's just a single dome, though. All right, cold wave is hitting us. And we're going to see power drop. But by how much? That's the big question. How much does it drop? The subsurface heaters are built. They're working. We want to get these two domes covered. This is not covered. It's produced. It's yeah, it's using a lot more power than it needs to. Let me get another subsurface heater. We'll put it, um, 
we put it here, can I get the pipes like that? Yep. And then I also, in order to get into this area, I mean, they can go through the domes. They don't need the ramps to get in here. So actually, I'm going to let that slide. Um, and then we have this subsurface heater built. How about the one over here? Yeah, this one's done. So let's expand this all the way out. And hopefully we find ourselves in less of a power deficit soon. I can deal with a 356. We've got tons of, of like battery power, right? And then as we go over time, right? You see we're using the electronics on these things. I could probably stop the construction on these. I think we have enough. Let's um maybe put a pin in this. No, well, I didn't want to do that, but okay. I can get the polymers back if I do that, honestly. Maybe we maybe we get the polymers back temporarily on some of these. I think so. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll stop the construction on this one and this one and this one just so we don't use all of these. Um, and I have to do them one at a time because if I do it with the control click, it'll do all of them, Anomaly and I don't want that. Analyzed. So we'll shut off a couple of these so we can get started on getting electronics a little bit faster. They're all connected anyway, so we'll turn them back on when we want to uh, get them built again. Okay, that'll that'll be good for now. We have great batteries, so I don't even think I need this one. Actually, the battery only needs polymers, so we can make this, we can make that a priority actually. Look at all these rare metals. You know what, well, we should probably prioritize space elevator very soon. Then we'll just have unlimited cash. It won't matter how high the prices are. We'll never run out. Martian network could be cool. So I'm working on magnetic field generator, of course, because we're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to start counteracting atmosphere, atmospheric loss from that. Um, there's dream reality. The Omega telescope is pretty cool because it also gives us access to new breakthroughs. And um, actually, I probably should prioritize this before this. I'm going to. I'm gonna prioritize this before this. Because it lowers the overall research cost for everything else. And if, like, if I get this last, then it's just like, you know, what do I have left? So we can get Project Morpheus later. We can get the Space Elevator later. All these other bigger domes. The new breakthroughs that we get. They'll all be cheaper once this is up. So Interplanetary is going to be the next thing I'm going to work on there, I think. We have a huge oxygen surplus. That's amazingly good news. I do like this good news. And, you know, the farms are still operating. At least they're operating. Everyone's working outside during a disaster. But remember, if anyone has a sanity breakdown, it doesn't really matter. That's very good. An anomaly analyzed. Got to, okay, a little bit of a boost. Nice. So, I think it's mostly a waiting game on this. I should let this run for a little while. The cold wave. Um, I had ideas on things I wanted to do. But um, those ideas were also, ooh, Perseverance is doing this. Those ideas involved terraforming, of course, and um, trying to basically do these. I was hoping to do this one today. I apparently need a little bit more money. So I'll have to make do with it. I think I can send the other rocket back as an export. And uh, I think I will. So if I go back to my rocket and I just say, hey, dude, you should just launch. I don't have available rockets. Wait, where's my... Oh, I already sent it. I'm an idiot. I sent it with the seeds. Ah, today, man. Today is a day. Today is a day. This thing's using 90 power. Man, we're a huge surplus. We'll be fine. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a waiting game. So I'll wait. We'll get the seeds dropped down with us. And then I'm going to send this rocket on just like a constant from here. This pad will have a constant export. And we'll uh, we'll always have... Hmm... You're not built yet. That's the highest of priorities. The electronics. Yeah, and we'll just constantly export the uh, rare metals until we have money. So let me just let it run. Probably pass the cold wave. It's clearly easy to, to pass now. I'll be right back. All right, the uh, cold wave is now coming to an end, or at least it's about to. 
and we just got notified that toxic rains can now be expected yeah so we're at 25 percent atmosphere and we're losing 0.053 percent per soul due to uh magnetic shields so we need to get that or lack of magnetics so we need to get the magnetic shields is what i'm saying um now excuse me we're still producing two percent per soul so as long as we are still producing more than we're losing we're making progress and uh i just need to get the uh well, I need to get this stuff done. So, magnetic field generator will be done soon. Interplanetary astronomy is 51% complete. And now that the cold wave is done, we can shut down all of the subsurface heaters. It's going to free up a ton of power. It's going to free up a bunch of water. Batteries are going to start getting up there again, which is nice. And um, we have this. We have uh, Curiosity now owns this pad. I lifted Curiosity off the ground and it's on a uh, a cycling automated cycle it's going to come down pick up 30 uh 30 rare metals and go back up back and forth all by itself it owns this pad so uh we're gonna be landing our regular rockets and stuff on this pad no big deal and it looks like this one needs repair since when I guess. I guess the scrubber didn't do its job. I don't know. Uh, I think I am going to start to get a dome working itself down here. This is a cold area. So, like, we're going to... I think it's going to always be cold. I think it's always going to cost us some extra. Because we're at, yeah, 100% more power in cold areas. But it's great for, like, a research site, right? I could put it in here. If there's anywhere I could put this, it's not in the cold area, and it also hits this, I would... But I think I just need to raise the temperature before I have to deal... Well, before that's a problem. So um, if I put this dome right here, we have good access to the rare metals. We have a vista as well as access to that water supply if we still want it, which we will. Um, we never not want access to a water supply. And um, I think that research site. Or I could flatten the ground and do the dome here and have basically access to both research sites which is kind of interesting. Or I could do both. I could do both too. Or we do, we do the medium dome, then I can use the spire. Maybe we do that instead. I think we do that instead. Yeah. Okay, so this, is, this has access to everything. It's not going to lose us access to the water. So let's put this here. We're going to move Nash into position here. And then we just need the resources to do it. So that's concrete, metals, and polymers. Let's drop a universal depot here. We need concrete, metals, and polymers to go on this. And we'll say we want like four. And now the shuttles should just bring us that. And then we can still manage the pipes if they something goes wrong. But at least we're in range now to where we can start hitting this medium dome. Or we can't because... Yeah, we can't. We're not, we have to actually have access to the center of the dome with the range. So now we can do this. I can scoot back just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit here. I believe that's enough to do it. Yeah, we're, we're touching the center, so we should be able to pull resources there. So we'll get another dome going there, and look at all these shuttles. Oh, God, I love these things. Wow, guys. Uh, so apparently they can destroy farms. Yeah, buildings destroyed. I don't know when they started being able to destroy farms at least long time ago when I played I guess uh, they couldn't destroy farms that wasn't something on their list of things they could destroy apparently that has changed now so okay I guess they're just they're just gonna take it out yeah good awesome whatever I guess uh, this dome is coming along somewhat nicely we need to connect it to power though don't we yes yes we do so let's go ahead and grab power cables and I think I'll probably go this way with it. Yeah. Let's go this way with it. Because we can then use the same line to power the rare metals that we're going to be extracting later. So we'll go with that. And then to get them set up with life support, well, that's another matter entirely, isn't it? Uh, we want this to be in line with the water that we're going to be extracting maybe eventually. So we'll have this pipe go like this that will connect them to the water supply for the colony now unfortunately 
that means uh, if we're going to connect it here, then like I can't have any valves here, basically, because if I cut if I cut them off, well, no, that's not entirely true. I can still valve this because that only cuts the rest of this colony off and they have more water, but it still leaves the line here. I like that, actually. I'm going to put the vi pipe valve in like that I wanted. Too far from working drone commander. It's fine. We'll, we'll get it installed. No worries. Drone commander could take just a quick little brief, quick little brief break. Come on over here and get this installed instead, as well as the power line. It's fine. All right, we got the new security center going in here too, and uh, I'm actually gonna upgrade these grocers, and I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade all grocers to service bots instead, so we don't need anybody working in the grocers anymore. That'll be nice. Uh, I think we'll also go ahead and get the diners all upgraded as well. That takes a lot of electronics, so we're really kicking out. We got to start kicking out electronics. Is what I'm getting at here. And uh, I think oh, I was tempted to do another dome here and maybe do that. But I, down here is definitely going to focus on electronics and research. Capturing ice asteroids is done. The capturing of ice asteroids has been successfully completed. With the use of special craft, we pursued and deflected the asteroids off of their trajectory with nothing more than slight bumps. Thus, we have managed to gracefully steer large amounts of soon to be easily accessible water towards the surface of Mars. In this game of space billiards, though, there's always a chance that the ball will hit the wrong pocket. Be ready to deal with a Mars quake. Funding received. All right, great. And we have funding. Yes. So uh, Curiosity owns this pad, right? And it's just going to go back and forth. So delivered the rare metals and is now coming immediately back. So we're just going to keep exporting rare metals with Curiosity. And uh, so we'll use Perseverance here and uh, we'll use this pad here. We're producing so much rare metals, though. 39 per day. And it takes us five hours on each trip, I think. Five days, sorry. For each trip back. So it's basically five hours there, or five days there, five days back. That's 30 rare metals exported every 10 days. And we're producing a lot more than that. So, like, we could probably have, like, five rockets. And it won't be enough. That's cool, though, because it means we have a huge access. And we can use that access to our advantage by setting up, I think, another manufacturing dome. And the problem is this dome is really far away, and any connections I make will ultimately mean, like, make with this one will ultimately mean, like, they have to be in the cold. I really don't want to have a huge dome manufacturing operation. Like, extra power consumption just needlessly. Granted, we have a huge surplus of power, but it's, I feel like it's a little needless. We need to also maybe get another tunnel up here so we can connect the power up here too. So I realize there's a ramp, but the ramp does not help me connect power. So we're going to build another tunnel. And we're going to build it, I think, right here. Hmm, maybe a little bit closer for the pipes. Ah, over here. This is fine. We build the tunnel here. Connect it with these pipes, and then it comes out over here. And we could access this probably. I can always cancel this if I decide not to. This one has 593, it's low. Hmm, not the best place for this. Not the best place for this. We already have this tunnel network. We have two rare metals here and here, and this is all this is a high concentration too. Perhaps this should go here. I think we'll plan on that. Medium dome placed right here. We can access both rare metals deposits. And we'll have another one built over here that can connect to it. And these two medium domes will work together towards awesome mutual benefits. I like it. And then uh, we're also going to want to go ahead and grab the pipes. Make sure those are connected as we build it. Um, we'll build this one first. Let this one kind of stew and be as be this thing that we don't do very well. Um, we also have, I think it's barely out of range of that. Oh, no, it's definitely in range of this. Well, I don't think that's in range. I don't think we can actually build that. Hang on. Let's cancel this. Need to build it just a little bit closer to that drone hub. I really, wow, really. I don't want to have to uh, build another drone hub for this. So I'm going to put you here instead, I think. Yeah, this should be in range. Absolutely. Okay. So this will be our big dome that we want to build right now. 
And um, it'll be connected to all this water and stuff. We'll get people over here. But this is going to be another, like, electronics manufacturing thing for sure. It says, the door to summer. Your attention is required. Do you want to live forever? Apparently, the clients of Eternal Summer, a large cryonics company, intend to do so. Fearing that Earth could be destroyed by a cataclysm, the 10 richest customers of Eternal Summer have paid for a rocket to host their cryopods. It has launched towards Mars, where they are relying on your colony to resupply the cosmic arc. The Eternal Summer rocket will regularly ask for permission to land. If you resupply it, you will receive immediately $150 million upon its launch. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this event uh, specifically, but, uh, well, maybe I do. I guess what I'm saying is, what I think this event is, is completely not worth it. Because they will land, and they will ask for things that is incredibly expensive and give us not even close to enough money for it. If I remember correctly. And they will continue to do that over and over again. Uh, I'm going to turn them down. Because if I remember correctly, that event is not worth it, not worth anything. It's, it's really bad. It's a really bad deal. Okay, so Perseverance is back. Ready to land. There it is. We are 99% done with interplanetary astronomy, man. And we have to build that Omega telescope. And I'm not sure where, but I know it takes a ton of electronics. So I think it's like 300. So we need electronics manufacturing up to uh, pff, last week. We need that up last Research week. Research complete. Yeah, interplanetary astronomy is done. Yeah, 300 electronics. So, yikes. Magnetic field generator. We're just going to keep going on that. And I think probably in slot four and five here, we could do red metals attraction increased by 50%. We don't need it. Energy. Eh, hanging gardens could be cool. Ooh, seed vegetation. I like that. And uh, we don't really need the core heat convector. We have the other thing. It's fine. We don't need it. Uh, this one could be kind of cool, melting the ice caps. But I think this is the one I want, too. Uh, launching the space mirror improves temperature. And we can launch the magnetic shield. That's what I think I want to do, too. I'm going to queue both of those things up as our next to research. In the meantime, Perseverance, what are you going to go do? We have the money now to do this. So I think we will. Adds plus 2% atmosphere, 1% temperature. For 600 million and a little bit of fuel. I like it. Let's go. Get that atmosphere up, man. Whew. I can't wait to be completely rid of all these stinking dust storms. Yep. I just, I need it. Uh oh, idle extractors. Good. It's the concrete one. We can get rid of that. That's fine. I don't have that one covered by a scrubber, so it's been like this thing that I've been constantly Resources having to repair. I don't like it anymore, so goodbye. Yes, I know electronics production is low. Not really a whole lot I can do about it, to be honest. Um, I have factory AI in all of my electronics factories. I have all of them in my machine parts factories, too. This dome has nine unemployed. Nine unemployed. What can we do with the nine unemployed? Um, you know, I think I'll just encourage you to move to another dome where there are more jobs for you. But if you really must have a job, and I feel like you are one of those types of people, some of those people that just must have a job. I understand. If that is the case, maybe we put in yet another electronics production in here. I think we could. Um, I don't believe we need a whole lot. Like, we do have three renegades, though. We do not need this many grocers. Oh my god, we definitely don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We don't need this. Let's uh, get rid of this grocer and let's get rid of this one too. One grocer is pure, like very sufficient here. And uh, we've got this queued up to be service bots anyway, so its performance is going to go to like 100%. So, and we won't need people, which also means we have more job lists. Good. Good. They can work in the small electronics factories that we're building for them right now to make even more electronics. Won't that be great? We probably need more rare metal storage. We don't have any, hardly any rare metal storage here, do we? 
Let's go rare metal storage here. And let's jack this up to like, yeah, keep uh, 120 in here at all times kind of thing. Look at these machine parts. They're just like stacking here. <laughs> That's awesome. We want them kind of accessible by us over here too. And actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the dumping sites. We have... This actually covers everything it needs to. Bitchin. But if I go even further out, then I can get another one and then make more. Yeah, we're going to do this. We have tons of machine parts. So I'm going to get another carbonate processor put in, I think, right here. And maybe one more right here. Nah, yeah. Before the next dust storm, you know? I think we're going to do this before the next dust storm. I want to hit the atmosphere really hard. And this will connect both of these up together. Nice. These will connect uh, this one together. Nice. And then we will put a tribal electric scrubber uh, right here. And that will cover both of these. Very good. All right. Well, get to work, drones. I expect great things from you. And, you know, since we have so many machine parts, like at 400 of them, we might as well just upgrade this, right? We might as well. Let's make it upgraded. The whole mo whole mine, baby. We're going to make even more. It's like not even like as if we don't have enough already. It's going to be great. All right. So it looks like concrete is the big thing we're missing here. Uh, or we just don't have Nash Commander in place. That's probably what it is. Move Nash Commander back where he needs to go. All right there, buddy. I think we really don't have enough stuff here, though. Um, the, uh... Oh? Oh, you built this already! That's baller! Nice! Okay. Let's take, um... That was fast. No idea you guys are gonna be that fast. So let's set up apartments. Uh, we also want to say that we're not accepting colonists right now. So let's just turn everything off for a second. We also want to make sure that we are not accepting renegades or idiots. Now, what I'd like to do is we're going to turn this dome into a rare metals, sorry, electronics manufacturing dome, which is going to be over here. We're going to get two big electronics factories. One is going to be there. One is going to be here. All right. Then we're going to have a university put in here, too. Uh, also, I think a grocer in the middle. Eh, near the middle. How about here? Put a grocer there, put an infirmary here. Oh, the basics. Do the basics first, actually. Get this get these done and over with. And then uh now that we have we'll have housing here, of course, we're gonna put the spire in. Arcology in the middle. And we'll get that. That'll that'll get constructed, I think, pretty easily. We're gonna wanna take and put a universal depot here. And just tell the game to hey, except for fuel. And don't bring rare metals here, but everything else needs to be. And we're going to say, hey, how about you bring everything here to, like, 20, okay? Just make sure there's 20 here all the time, okay? For everything. Uh, so these two big electronics factories are, like, the biggest thing right here, right? We want to mass produce electronics. Like, we need a lot. And that means we're also going to need rare metals brought here. So we're going to do a rare metals depot there. And let's... Wait, no, it needs to be in range of both. Hang on. Rare metals depot... Right, let's do two of them. I think only one is necessary. Yeah, whatever, one is necessary. So we'll do that. We need a lot more housing. So apartments will go, let's say there and there, and then we're gonna have a university. That's what I want right here. All right, university will train engineers and all that stuff. I think it's probably important to have a local food supply. Perhaps one that doesn't necessarily depend on Outside sources might be good. Also, some comfort stuff is nice. So I think maybe we'll get some of these parks and stuff put in too. Um, let's go here and then the pond in the middle. But I, I want to put in open air gym for comfort too, I think. Yeah, there. And then probably need at least one of these because Renegades just can't seem to leave me alone. So we'll get at least one. Probably a space bar for comfort too. And then uh, we can actually, let's put in 
We're going to make a good, good amount of polymers, maybe. The diner will be automated. So we'll get that there, too. I think maybe a Hawking Institute. Nah. Nah. We got enough research going elsewhere. Electronics store. We want to make electronics, not uh, use them. I think just more housing. Yeah, we'll get another apartments building here. And then we'll see what we need from there. But on this side, we need to connect to this dome. So really, it would make more sense to put the apartments on this side. Yeah. Let's also maybe cycle through the different types of skins that it has. We'll go on like that. And then we're going to have the, the connecting path go this way. So we'll see. This is our new and improved production facility. And we also are not connected to water right now. That's the problem. So get our pipes put in. Should be right here. Easy done. And I think maybe we get a little bit of redundancy on the piping. Nah. Whatever. We have tons of water here. Look at that giant full water tank. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay. Toxic rain is in a one day, 11 hours. And I think that goes away at 55%, right? That's what it was. I know I looked this up, but I just never remember these things. Toxic rains end at 55% on both atmosphere and temperature. Okay. And we don't have to worry about it after that. So magnetic field generator is still something that we're researching. That's important. We're going to start yeah, we're losing half a quarter of a percent per soul now. It's like cutting away at us. I don't like it. One eighth of what we're producing is just given back. I think it might be wise to set up some sort of local water production just in case. Um, so I'm going to put a vaporator here and I'm going to put another vaporator. Well, I mean, we're not going to get through this, right? There's a lot of water here still, right? 75,000. Yeah, we don't need this. There's 75,000 water here, but not enough power. I disagree. I have much disagreement. We don't need that. Let's get rid of that. This is plenty of power for everything. Uh, okay, heavy drone load too. Maybe we get some more drones on that side of the map, yeah. And then actually, actually that means, I know we only have 11 electronics, but we kind of need more drones to be produced as well. I'm gonna queue up at least, let's say four of them to be produced. And maybe start distributing some of the drones that aren't doing much. This is low load. So we'll uh, maybe go down a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna go down here probably. This is heavy still? Oh, right, they're building this. Typically, this isn't heavy load, but now that they're building this, it is. Okay, no big deal. Uh, you're in medium. Maybe we'll shed one off of you. You're at medium. We can shed, like, one off of you. Although, you're the mole hole one, so maybe that's not the best idea. Shed a couple off of you. And then we go all the way over to the other one. And we're going to add more drones here because you're going to need it. Also, this one. Uh, we'll add a couple to you. And we'll add a couple more to you because you have more stuff building right now. Okay. So we have an adequate amount of drones in this area to really start, you know, doing everything we need and more. I like it. All right. I think I'm going to leave this video here. We've had a lot done today. You can see what we're doing. The uh, Heirloom 1 is the name of this dome. Heirloom 1. And Heirloom 1 is uh, ready to accept people as soon as they are uh, ready to come in. I'm going to quarantine this for the time being just until I get the basics of services up. And we also want more food delivered here. So I'm actually going to make sure there's a lot of food on this side. We're going to want an outdoor ranch at least too, just to help them with their own local food supply. But also, I think we get at least the depot with food and we go like here and we say, hey, drones, shuttles, make sure there's like 60 on this. And that will be good to go. Yeah, that's good enough. So I think at the point where we get the factory up or we get some place for them to work, this grocer is going to go automated anyway. 
And, uh, yeah. We're not going to bother with staffing that. It would be cool. Can the security ones go automated? No, that would be really cool if they could, though. But look, we still don't have enough. All of these guys still don't have enough. Holy crap, man. All of these security stations, not enough to stop the crime. Not enough to stop crime. Not enough to stop crime. Uh, damn this renegade thing. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. When you guys come back, we'll have both of these up and running, I think. These carbonate processors really pushing in the, uh, the atmosphere up. It's going to be good. I appreciate you. Thank you for following along in this series for so far. That's, that's pretty incredible. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.